Due to the vast amounts of possibilities inside Devo, some of the data you need for a specific task may slip through your fingers. Devo Exchange now offers the possibility to work with synthetic data, datasets injected into your domain for a variety of purposes. To start working with synthetic data, you need to access this category, where you can find a set of resources designed to help you with specific cases. Let's say you need to work with McAfee proxy data. Simply find this content in the category and open it. Here you can see all the information. This means that this data will be injected into your domain at a rate of one event per second. And once all data has been injected, it will start again from the beginning. With the buttons at the top right, you can easily launch it or stop it when you no longer need it. While data is being injected, the card thumbnail shows this sign. Accessing this data is easy. You can click the open button that appears after the installation, which will open the data table so you can perform operations as you would with any other table. Bear in mind that you can always go back to the content in Exchange by using the back arrow on your browser. Remember that you can also access the data table directly from Finders. With this data now available in your domain, you can perform a variety of tasks that involve the use of queries. For example, you can enter a query in an Active Boards widget to visualize data graphically. If your synthetic data is injected periodically, you can use a query to define an alert to detect specific proxy conditions. Synthetic data can be inserted inside a use case for a more holistic workflow. Watch the related video to see examples of this. Thanks for watching this video. Visit us online to keep up to date with the latest content.